Well, okay. Forbes, Riley, well. we feel your pain. And Dr. J. Coates, yeah. we really appreciate all that you've done, I'm sure, well, um, all the families do. I mean, extraordinary. Just no will at all to change this. Apparently, it's too soon to talk about gun control for some people. And it may never be right. But for 59 people yesterday, it's 600 too late. 600 people shot by one guy with 42 guns. We're back in a moment. Good morning to you and coming up this morning. Some say it's too early to talk about gun control. For those victims last night, it's far too late. Overnight, James Corden spoke for millions when he reflected on America's worst ever mass shooting. This morning we're live in Las Vegas with Ross King for all the latest. Also, he was hailed by Prince Harry as Britain's Superman. Invictus Games hero Mark Onrod gives me his first interview since arriving back home. Then at 9 o'clock, Mark Hayes will be showing how to refresh your look this autumn on a budget and... Ben! Find out why Kate Winslet's new movie left her with Titanic flashbacks. She's here at 10 past 9. And the mountain between us is in cinemas all over the UK this Friday. Well, that's all for today. On tomorrow's show, I'm going to be joined by a woman so busy, she says she doesn't know what the word boredom means. Sandy Toxvig is here with news on a very exciting new project. And Alan Sugar's right-hand man, Apprentice star Claude Littner, he's going to be right here as well. You have a lovely, lovely day. And of course, I will see you bright and early, half past eight, right here tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye-bye.